My fellow Minnesotans, Assalamu alaikum, I begin with the greetings of peace. This last week, we Minnesotans have seen the worst and the best of Minnesota on display. We have seen our brother George brutally murdered by officers who acted on our authority and snuffed his life out. We have also seen Minnesotans of all ethnicities, of all races, of all genders, come together as one. It warmed my heart to see Muslim and Somali business owners with their religious leaders clean the streets during the day and guard their neighbors during the night. Those are some of the good things of Minnesota that have been on display this week. Also on display is one other very horrible reality. The legitimate protests of our community is in the process of being hijacked by evildoers, by far-right extremists, by supremacists, and by people who are anti-statists. They do not believe in leaving any institution of collective benefit. They seek to tear down and destroy everything and every institution that serves and benefits all of us. My brothers and sisters who are outraged in the streets, I beg to you, I appeal to you, do not allow these infiltrators to hijack our righteous protest. Do not allow them to commit acts of arson and hide among us using our community as human shields to protect them from law enforcement. My fellow Minnesotans, all this outrage, all this angst is because one life was unjustly taken. Let us not enable the loss of any further lives. My brothers, my sisters, I beg you, we shall continue protesting during the day. We shall continue fighting the good fight during the day. But at 7 o'clock, we will stop. We will start turning back home so that by 8 o'clock, we are all home. This is needed so that our governor and the National Guard can restore law and order so that the safety of our communities can be guaranteed. And I promise you, we are not going away. We will continue the fight against structural racism we will take this fight to the special session of the legislature. We will fight the good fight there. But let us not endanger any more lives. Let us honor the curfew and defend and protect Minnesotans. Thank you very much. Our next speaker is Botao Urabe.